What's up? Wayne Barron here with DarkEffects.net and I'm here to complete what we started earlier. We're still inside of Photoshop and what we're going to do here is that we're going to save out our file as a PSD file. So we're going to go to File, Save As, and then we're going to save it as a PSD file. Okay, and uh, if the dialog box opens up to Maximize, choose Maximize. Okay. And once we've saved out this file, we want to go inside of After Effects, right click, import file, and then go inside and grab a hold of the one that we just created. We want to have the import kind as composition, merge layer styles into footage, and then click OK. Alright, first thing we want to do is go ahead and click on our man dash one, and this will open him up inside of our window here. And let's see here, I don't need any of this stuff right now, so I'm going to clean off some space. So, put that over there, and come on. Uh, okay, now let's grab that and put that over there. Okay, now we got more real estate to work with here okay so what we want to do first is that we want to grab a hold of um, a layer we want to give him something to walk on so let's scroll out a little bit go to layer oops click down here go to layer new solid and this is going to be our walkway <clears throat> and we want to have it as a width of about uh, do 80 and then uh, <clears throat> give it a color of a something like a, a walkway about like so click OK now we're going to make it a 3d layer we're going to drop it down to the bottom we're going to hit the W on the keyboard to bring up our rotate and then we are going to rotate it to about like so. Hit the V on the keyboard for the selection tool and then we're going to drag it out and then we're going to grab a hold of our green Y axis and pull until it's about right there. And so let's um, Move it over to the side just a little bit. Okay, that's gone looking pretty good. So, we actually are not going to have this sucker to be in that big. Okay, if that thing did not get wide. Let's see here. Drop this down. I don't want it to be that long. We want to Okay, let's grab a hold of the green arrow and drag it up just a little bit. There we go. All right, now what we want to do is that we want to um, let me explain something right quick. The reason why we brought it in as uh, footage inside of uh, uh, from the PDF file is that if you do an image you're limited on how many pins That you can play so you can do one two three four no, it's one two three four eight and Once you do eight and you get up here and you do nine ten eleven Once you hit on twelve and thirteen you're gonna start losing your pins And so I think there's a limit on how many you can have uh, within your project so if you got different layers down here then you can go as high as it will allow you per layer and so uh, with that said let's go ahead and jump to the lower and we're going to click down here and go there and what you want to do is you want to put a pin on each <clears throat> part that you want to animate Okay, so that would be the lower, the face, 
put it on his chin. Go down here, click on mesh, make sure that's chosen. Click up yonder for the top of his head. Now let's go to upper body. We want his hand, his elbow, and his shoulder. Once again, hand, elbow, and shoulder. <clears throat> now, what we want to do is that we want to make him walk. And so the reason why we have our little walkway here is that we're going to need to animate its position as he's walking. And uh, like so. See how it moves? See, so we're going to need to animate that position as he's walking. <clears throat> so, with this set right there, we're going to go to lower. Click on mesh, that way it brings up our keys, or our pins. Let's go ahead and lift, lift, bring up in the legs a little bit here, do a little bit more of a lift, and then go through one, and then Be nice if you can actually, ah, oh, you can select them all at one time and lift. We go to here. We want the road to move. And then we want to get back to his feet. Left toe. Whoops. Let's go back for that. We're actually going to move. Well, let's go ahead and just select that and then just push it back. That way it actually looks like he's, his foot is staying with the road. Now we're going to go over here and we're going to bring his leg back down. Click out and go right here. And then so it'd be something like that. Ha! He's doing the jig. Alrighty. <clears throat> now what we want to do is that we want to animate our other leg. So what well, we need to bring this one down. Click on the mesh, the lower body. I guess that foot straight, and then we want to lift this toe, and then grab a hold of all these and lift. Then we're going to. Put my, bring him back down, let's get to the end here. Now, let's try that one more time. Lift up the toe, and then select them three, then lift them up together, and then you want to move it, and then mesh it choose them two and then push it back just a little bit that way it looks like he's walking got about right up in there bring down his bring down his foot Bring it about right up in there. There you go. This is actually going to be a really fast walk. It's almost like a run. Or a little bit of a jog. But it just, it takes a little bit of time to go through all this. But you, you get the gist of it. So let's. 
go about right up in here and let's go to the the upper part of his body here uh, we're going to move his hand and we're going to scroll through a little bit of his elbow just a little bit and then we're going to go to the mesh one and move this drop it back out drop a little bit and then go back over to the mesh two and got like so And then you can easily go in here and do something with his face here as he's running as well. Bring that back up. And there you go. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, uh, that's basically it for this. I mean, it, you can spend hours trying to do your animation or doing your animation, making your little character walk and so forth. So I hope between the Photoshop and the After Effects here, it gives you a basic understanding of how to use the pen tool and also how to create a little bit of line art. Uh, if you want to uh, have a better uh, illustration, then I would uh, suggest that you use Adobe Illustrator. And uh, because the pixel ratio of Illustrator compared to Photoshop is a lot greater and you do not lose your pixels once you start to uh, uh, bring your, your, uh, your line art up. See, as you can see right here, it starts to get just a little bit pixelated right here. If, if this was done inside of uh, Adobe um, Illustrator, you would not lose that. So anyway, this is Wayne Barron with Dark Effects TV, and I hope that y'all enjoyed it. And the main reason why I did this one right quick, I'll just point this out, is the other one that I had on there had too many childish people going on and leaving perverted comments. So basically, this is going to take it over. That way people can pay attention to the work that's being done instead of what's actually inside of the project. So anyway, thanks all to, to all of the childish, immature people out there. That one's no longer going to be available. So this one right here is going to be the new pen tool by Dark Effects TV. Y'all have a rocking new year and a rocking new week.